and how water is electricity and how you're able to use electricity when you educate and when they leave your room, leave my room being educated, one, which they didn't expect that they were going to get education, inspiration, motivated to continue, as well as, again, they have a relief in their body or their, their image and how they feel empowered. They're getting more than what they thought that they came for, they bargained for. That's success for me, knowing that I gave them their 100% plus more. Absolutely. That's the success for me. Fantastic. Lucy, what does success mean to you? That's a great question. I believe that success really is a multiple of different things. You know, um, anything that you set your mind to accomplishing and you're able to do it to me, that you're a success, right? If I decide that I want to, you know, go to college for four years and get my bachelor's degree and become um, whatever it is I want to become after four years, then and I accomplish that, then I'm successful because I've done exactly what I have decided that I wanted to do. So therefore that's success to me. Now, in my uh, instance, I was a successful personal trainer for many, many years, and I had many clientele and uh, for success in that field was really helping my clients accomplish the goals that they had set out to accomplish, whether it's losing weight or toning or strengthening or just really feeling good or just for health purposes. I also did physical therapy as well. So, which was, you know, rehabbing them from injuries. I would get them after they were finished with their injury and they needed to strengthen their system. So if, if it was for that purpose and I was able to accomplish that goal, then I was successful doing that. Now for me, success is constantly changing. It's not like you get to the point where you're successful and then you stop. You know, for me, it's never evolving. It's it's forever evolving, right? And now it's what I do now. It's um, I have a team of amazing, amazing people who want to learn the skill set of trading in the foreign exchange market and the cryptocurrency market. So success in that for me now is really helping my team learn this skill set that can absolutely free them financially and allow them the ability to be able to kind of live life on their own terms. If they want to work a nine to five, they can. If they don't want to, they don't have to. Because once you learn the skill set, literally, it's it's really game over. There's this whole hamster wheel that I think a lot of people feel as if they're on, whether it's health, whether it's finances, whether it's education, where they feel as if it's just never ending. They just have to keep acquiring more and doing more. In your opinion, at what point are we good enough? Mm. That's a very powerful, interesting question that the entire world, both men, woman, chick, and child is question is asking. Um, it's never good enough. It's never good enough. To have a contrite spirit, um, it, it takes someone that have actually achieved something more than monetary values like money or, you know, it, it takes self-worth. For me, I was in the industry, the financial industry years ago as a mortgage processor, a mortgage broker, a title extractor, a title processor. And I was really chasing that for money because I was trying to find a way out and I wanted to learn. And I felt that with, you know, since that was the next big popping thing, the mortgage industry, I was thinking that if I could learn from the bottom and take from learning from the title processing and all the way to the mortgage processing, and that would be more money. And then of course we had a recession issue after that. Um, it was what's next. So it was never good enough. And when I, what I found became good enough for me is when I found the desire to also heal myself, start working on me. Cause 
though I was looking for other things, other ways, money, because money, you know, you want a certain education, you know, I was going through all these things to want to learn all these things, to be all these things, to have all these accolades to my name. Um, I found that the biggest thing that was enough for me is when I actually started to invest in myself. Myself was to have the patience with myself. And that was that be start becoming enough because then I was feeling complete. So now everything else now that is coming, it's coming naturally for me. So that now I've come very humble because the financial rewards and the accolades of having, you know, the degrees and so have you, that was still not enough because I wanted more. But once I found the more was actually taking care of myself. And then from there, once I took care of myself, it was enough where I wasn't certain. I'm not searching for too much anymore is how I help other people now so that they can find their enough. Absolutely. Lucy. For, for, for me, that good enough question is interesting. Um, I'm always looking to better myself. I think if you get to the point where you've arrived, you know, then what do you strive for? You know, you're like, all right, you know, I've already gotten to this point in my life. Therefore, you know, you just become kind of complacent. You know, you're not waking up with a new focus in in, in mind every single day uh, or a new motivation or something to go after or something to, um, to, to focus on. So each time you have a different goal or a different focus, it gives you inspiration to wake up in the morning and say, all right, I'm doing this, 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 and this, you know, you, you're focused, you know what you're doing, you know where you're going and you know what you're looking for. Now, not to say that, you know, you could never arrive, but I think once you've gotten to a point, you know, there's always room for improvement and you can absolutely give more. You can absolutely do more. You can absolutely help more. You know, if you're, at a certain level and you can't help yourself, you how are you gonna even be able to help other people? You know? So I I think success in that sense is, you know, are you able to give back? Are you able to pay it forward? Are you able to do more to help other people other than yourself? Because it's not really just about you. It's really about what can you do to help others in this world. It's not just about us. So if we get to the point where we're happy and we have what we need, I'm good, you know, you know, what, what else could you do for other people? You know, that's my focus. What's your thought process on individuals who are suffering, but still not improving as far as that whole topic of being good enough? What's your thoughts on that? Lucy, let's just start with Lucy. Suffering, but not improving. It's a mindset. I think it's a mindset. Because if your mindset, it's what you, it's whatever you focus on, you know, whatever you focus on expands. You know, I have read a lot of self-improvement books over the years, and it really does make a difference what you think about, how you think about yourself, what you, what you envision. So if you focus on the negative, guess what? You're out there creating more of the negative. If you focus on the positive, you're out there creating more positivity. Some people say, why does all bad things always happen to me? You know, well, it's possible that your energy, you know, and Alicia is talking about energy, right? And your energy can be pulling those things. It's possible. So how we think, how we feel, what we are giving off, what we're saying, how we're saying it all matters because we're creating constantly with our thoughts, with our words, with our actions, how we treat people. So all of those things matter, you know, when it comes to what results you're getting for yourself. So if you find that you're constantly getting more negativity, more negativity, more negativity coming your direction, maybe you need to switch the way you are speaking, the words that are coming out of your mouth. What are you saying? Because whatever you're saying, you are creating more of possibly what you don't want. Definitely. What about you, Alicia? When you uh, see people in and around your world who are struggling, complaining, but refusing to do any sort of improvement, 
because they feel like they're just good enough? Well, first and foremost, um, when that is happening, it's because there's an imbalancement into the psychological, physical, and the emotional system of our chakras. And they say you are what you eat. If a person is um, feeling that they're enough and you know no changes, that, uh, that is basically coming from particular chakra imbalance. You know, we have our root chakra. Our root chakra deals with creativity. It deals with reproductive. It deals with, and that's reproductive meaning also a reproductive system. So psychological their thinking, the way they think and the way they behave, when you have um, have enough information of how they continue repetition, because what happens is frequency, vibration, it comes directly from those chakras. So you, I, I'm able to tell because I'm in the field of working with electromagnetic frequencies through the body to help to pretty much stimulate and to get eradicate more to say the behaviors. You know, because that's more the behaviors is linked to the psychological. The chakras is linked to the psychological. The physical, how they, their physical being and their body, how everything like their diseases that they have in their body is also linked to the chakras. So um, emotions, you know, if they're jealous, when we talk about the root chakra and the reproductive, also the sacral chakra, which is a little bit above that, you know, that also affect with creativity and also um, sexual desires. Um, certain diseases are aligned to that. So I, I'm looking at when I'm working with clients or with clients, because I'm going to say speak more with clients, because with people in general, um, unless I'm intimate working with them, then I can get things more in its entirety. It's kind of hard and I'm not a judge, so and I don't judge people. But when I'm working intimately with them and after going through like the areas where they're they're affected, the diseases and so forth that they may have in their body, the way how they're thinking, thinking that they're not enough or they're jealous. We know that those areas um, of the, the body, of the, the chakras, those are the areas that are affected, what's, what's why it's causing certain disease, causing certain emotional um, um, mishaps and certain physical mishap, like if they have hip flexors issues, hip flexors are having to do with the sacral as well as the root chakra. The solar plexus dealing with, you know, which is a little bit above the name, a little bit below the navel, having to deal with certain emotions of fear and jealousy and so have you. So when I see those things, I'm pretty much working with the energy, certain frequencies that will actually help them to eliminate those behaviors. Bringing awareness as we move up to the heart for people who have issues with loving, with caring with forgiving, um, wanting to fix other people's relationship and don't see theirs, you know, going to that question, you know, always wanting to fix others, but theirs is a hot mess. It comes from the heart. So the heart chakras, I always look at that when they have heart issues, asthma, because it's very close, you know, to the breastplate, the lungs. When we come to the communication, like they're not communicating clearly, it's usually the bank of the throat chakras. So when I see people and people come in in, you know, different areas, oh, my neck is tired. I just had this. I know, you know, automatically that there's something going on in these chakra areas, the throat, the communication. Um, they have normally have lar lar um, laryngitis or TMD, DJ, TMD, TMJ disorders, you know, because we all have a TMJ, but disorders where they're not able to tap into their pineal gland, you know, where they're not having faith and actually getting deeper into their realms of um, their sixth sense. You know, they say we have five cents or five senses. It's really six. The intuitive, where they're not having that faith, where they're not um, having that belief, where they're not able to get into the, the people who say that they can't meditate. It takes them a little harder for them to meditate, you know, those are the things that I see psychologically that I'm, you know, I'm not a psychologist by no chance, but people feel that I am. The crown, the crown chakra having to deal with the universe, our gods, 
you know, when we were pierced from the mom's womb, we were pierced from the womb to the crown. The universe already have our number. So our behavior, how we behave, once that's, you know, off balance, that actually affect how we behave and how we talk and how we think and how we deal with people. So to answer, I hope I didn't go off too much off tantrum, but when, when I see people come, you know, come to me or I'm around people um, and I see these behaviors, I know that those chakras is off. And one shot, it's not one chakra. It's usually when one chakra is off, the other chakras is going to be off. It's just one is more predominant than the others. Makes sense. Yeah. Definitely. As far as, um, you know, we obviously you guys are both in business. I, I would love to learn more about what you do. Um, you know, the name of, name of your companies and kind of how you help the humans, how people can find you. I do want to give a quick shout out. Um, we have 42 people listening live right now. So thank you so much for being here and hanging out with us. Uh, for those of you watching on the replay, if you have made it this far, please make sure that you hashtag replay wherever you are so that we can send you some love on whatever platform you are listening on. Um, Alicia, I guess let's just start with you since we've been doing that thus far. Love to know uh, what you do, what the name of your company is, and where people can find you on social media. Absolutely. The name of my company is Life Balance Wellness Center and Travel Spa. Um, I offer um, traditional services that would normally be, um, you know, referred in spas, brick and mortar spas. I actually bring it into the luxury, the homes location of my clients. And I do travel nationwide. Um, life Balance Wellness Center is just basically, you know, with people that are living in this life, you know, and the center is really you. It's really, it's not a place. It's it's within you. Um, I, on, on my website is www.lifebalancewellnesscenter.com. My Instagram, which I'm very prominent on, um, my Instagram is at, it's lbwc underscore travel spa. Um, what I offer is what's called electromagnetic frequency therapy treatments. Um, it also happened to do with balancing. I use frequencies. Frequencies are used, engineers in music uh, uses frequencies. So I actually work with what's called scalers. And scalers, what scalers do, it generates uh, frequencies, different frequency hertz, just like you would do like a sound healing. So I do light therapy, Pandora Star. It's very huge in Europe. Pandora Star is one of um, my modalities that I use to pretty much open up the pineal gland and help um, individuals to heal in my massage practices and without massage treatments. Um, and this is basically, we use sound, um, which is sound bowls. Um, we also use lights because our chakras are based on lights. Um, and, you know, it helps also heal the electromagnetic uh, fields in our body. Our brain is an electromagnetic field. So I treat the body in the entire whole, you know, holistically. So again, LBWC underscore Travis Spa, please go ahead and check me out. If you have any questions, please go ahead and send a DM. And I answer pretty, you know, give me about 24 hours, you know. Um, but um, yeah, if you have any questions or anything, um, I will be more than happy to work with you. I love it. I love it. Thank you so much. Lucy, what do you do? How do you help the humans and how can people find you? I still have some clients that actually do reach out and they still want me to help them and work with them with personal training, physical therapy. Um, you can definitely find me on my IG handle. I am on Facebook as Lucy Goodridge Good and then Ridge, R-I-D-G-E. That's my Facebook uh, name, but IG would be I am I and then A M Lucy L U C Y dot G, and that's my Instagram. I do have another Instagram. My I just started it not that long ago. It's just really focused on giving back to uh, my my followers, free tips on fitness, wellness, health. Uh, eating, all of that good stuff, because that is my passion, you know, helping people in that field eat healthy. Like uh, Alicia said, you are what you eat. It's absolutely true. You know, eat healthy, exercise, the water, the whole nine yards. So I give a lot of free advice on there. So that's official underscore Lucy dot G. And uh, the biggest, newest 
focus that I'm focusing on. I actually have been doing this now for a little over four years. And it's funny when you had brought up the question about success and if it's ever evolving or ever enough. And so I switched fields completely and learned something completely new. <laughs> no clue had I ever done any of this before. But um, I had a little bit of stock knowledge. I did do some stocks and I did do some mutual funds investments. I did have a, a license in that field for about 11 years. And so I did have a little bit of that, but I knew nothing about cryptocurrency and I knew nothing about the Forex market, but I definitely had a desire to learn. <laughs> so when you have a desire to learn something, you can always do something new. So I've been in that field now for a little over four years and I've mastered it so exciting so so my whole goal really is to help other people master it as well so you could definitely find me on my ig handle i am lucy.g and you can at least shoot me a dm let me know that you saw the show and if it's really about bringing awareness because i did not know this market existed a uh, little over four years ago and now i'm an expert in this field only because i plugged in uh the company that I learned from is I Am Mastery Academy. And they're the ones that actually taught me how to actually master the skill set, how to learn how to trade, how to enter the market. And you can literally learn how to trade from your own home, your, your phone uh, or your computer. Really, it's not complicated, it requires a little bit of time, but absolutely for, for people, for women, for everyone, that want to learn the skill set, you actually have the ability to learn it, master it, and and absolutely make money on your own terms. So, you know, if you want to work from home, especially COVID showed us that, hey, we need a, another opportunity possible to be able to have income coming in. So if that's something that you want to take advantage of, that's definitely, this is a process that you can actually learn, that you can actually take advantage of and actually make money from. I love that. What's your big dreams for your business? Mm -hmm. So for my business, um, really, my goal is to empower and enrich uh, 100,000 people. That's my goal, to actually empower their lives with this skill set, because it is so life changing. Absolutely. That's awesome. Alicia, what's your big, uh, your big dream for your business? Mine is to empower um, many people from all walks of life um, to be inspired um, and also to be educated um, and motivated to to want to help themselves to to heal themselves naturally um, to touch them you know before it was you know I wanted to touch the, with my big hands I wanted to touch as many bodies I would have to say I've touched over over 10,000 people in my lifetime in my practice. Um, so I want to touch millions now, um, you know, and pretty much that's, you know, I actually met Lucy sometime and I know that your financial health is very important as well as your, um, your, your, your physical health. Uh, and without financial health, you won't be able to afford physical health, you know? So I have, um, I pretty much, my goal is to pretty much educate people on how to heal themselves. Um, how to to have patience and how to learn about the chakras and frequencies. Learn more and be inspired to do better for themselves. You know, it's more of an, like I said, an intentional lifestyle. I love it. Absolutely love it. So I want to close up with my last question, which is, what do you wish for? Go ahead, Lucy. <laughs> Why, thank you. <laughs> so what do I wish, what do I wish for, for myself, for humanity, for humankind? Just what do I wish? Okay, so I wish for, hmm, that's a great question. I wish for a world where we all can get along and where we all can coexist and love on one another. That's what I would really wish for. Absolutely. What about you, Alicia? for many people to come and swam me as a swami army when i have multiple retreats so i can hug share the information in its entirety so that they can be empowered to help others because then i know i'll be hitting the mass that's what i wish for 
I love it. Absolutely. Very cool. Well, I thank you both for being here. Thank you so much for taking some time out of your day to sit down, chat, share some of your journey with us and some of your knowledge that, um, that people need to hear. You know, this is the kind of stuff that individuals don't know enough about. Um, you know, we're told from a very young age that as long as we go to school and as long as we believe in something spiritual, that all of the, um, all of the issues, all of the challenges, all of the struggles won't be there. And we're looking around in the world and there's, there is, there's struggle, there's challenges, there's things that are, people are going through and they don't have the knowledge um, to be able to get through those things. And it's sitting down with women like you who are sharing these, these little bits of nuggets of information that really allows people to open their eyes, think of things differently, do more research on things that resonate with them. So for those of you that are listening live, I would so appreciate it if um, you were to connect with Alicia and Lucy. Their information is in the ticker bar below. Um, social media, I'm sure, is on Alicia's website there. And then also they are tagged, um, I think on Facebook, um, but one of them. So go ahead and um, click in, link with them, say hello to them. I'm sure they'd be more than happy to say hello to you. I'd like to close up now. Thank you so much for joining us here on Her Version. This community is expanding every single day and is filled with females who are striving to do better than they did yesterday. For those of you that are new to this podcast and like content like this, make sure you hit that subscribe button, follow, like, and share. If you have an amazing story to share, I've struggled to triumph, make sure to reach out to me here at herversion.life. I am your host, Sabrina Victoria, and I'm so grateful to be here sharing a platform that allows people to share their truth and inspire others as always.